Sanskrit was the language of uh, uh, Brahmanas because they are the Veda people. They they learn Veda, Veda, and they were to Apish, and they don't. Uh, they did not want the ordinary people hear Veda even. So they had some uh, high, uh, sophisticated language called Sanskrit. That is why the Buddha didn't want to. Uh, I mean, uh, he wanted to uh, have a language which is used by common people, the Magad, the people of Magad. It is called Magadi. So Dhammapada is highly venerated and esteemed as a sacred book among Buddhists and it is called, maybe everybody uh, remember this, the handbook of the Buddhists. You may have heard this. in Singhala. So it is known to everybody, everywhere. Many people know the things in the Dhammapada. Very popular. And also very sensible and useful and important. And if I just uh, name you, the 26 Vaggas, they are Yamaka, Apamada, Chitta, Kupa, Bala, Pandita, Arahanta, Sahas, Papa, Danda, Jara, Atta, Loka, Buddha, Sukha, Pia, Hoda, Mala. Dhammata Mag Pakinaka Niraya Naga Tanha Bhikkhu Brahmana. Very long list. And I'm not going to talk about everything in this uh, forum at this moment. I have selected only a few verses uh, which are very important and uh, useful. Uh, to uh, you all as Buddhists. The Buddha was able to effect uh, miracles of uh, mind purification. What, Bidda, what Buddha always did was purifying the mind. And you know one thing, the Buddha never talked to the Buddhists. Now we all we all preach Dhamma to the Buddhists. But during Buddha's period, he never talked to any Buddhists. Right? Because he always talked to the people who had who had been uh, the having the belief of some other uh, some other religion or some other belief. So they are the people who came to the Buddha. They are the people who came and asked questions from him. Uh, many of them were Brahmanas and some were kings, queens and uh, the mothers who lost their children and wives who lost their husbands and also princes, both princes and princesses and the girls who were uh, uh, well uh, cheated, they, who had been cheated by Men like Kundalakesi, she was cheated. And Patachara, what happened to her? She lost her husband and children, mother, father, brother, everybody. And when she came to the Buddha, she has no idea, no sati. She was unconscious. She didn't know where she was even. And not a, not a single thread on her body. So what did the Buddha say? Sister, please be aware. Be aware of yourself. Just only that. And what did he talk to the, talk to the murderer, Angulimala? Just stop one word. 
So these little, little things here and there, they all came to this Dhammapada. So it's really interesting. And you know, Manori, how I was interested in uh, looking for Dhammapada and making a research uh, into this because I found that the Buddha himself was, uh, that he was the greatest teacher. I found his methodology amazing. If the Buddha were here, he will not uh, tell the same thing uh, he tells uh, you, Manori. And he will tell something else to me. And to you, he will say some other thing. This is a wonderful quality of a teacher. So they were described nicely in this Dhammapada. And uh, in uh, Balavagga, number 60, uh, 62, uh, it says like this, Putta mati danang mati iti balu vihanyati atahi atenu nati puto putta puto danang. What does it mean? There was a rich man. Those days they were called Seti. Situ. Situ means Seti. Chetti now it has become, they have come to Sri Lanka also. Chetti means the money people. They have a lot of money. So this Situ, one of these Situ, he was thinking about, oh, I have money. I have children. But what happened? He had to leave everything and dead and gone. So what happened? He, he, he was born again in the same place, near to his place, as a very poor child. And uh, when he was about, he had some sense of uh, identifying this house. Whenever he was trying, trying to get into the this uh, premises thrown away. But one day Buddha saw him and uh, Buddha asked the house owner that was the, the earlier Situ, uh, Setis son and he talked to him. And he's, uh, the Buddha said please get this boy inside and treat him very well. Give him to eat something. This is your father. The man didn't believe. Oh, how can it be? My father was a well-to-do person and he was doing a lot of things. And he was doing yagas and homas. That is what the Brahman uh, did. And no, no, you ask him. You ask him. Then he will answer you. Then he had something secretly hidden in some uh, pots. Later on, it's a long story. And uh, this house owner found those pots with the help of the, that boy. Then only he, he started believing the Buddha's dumb. So this is one story in Balavag. And uh, So, if you take the Yamaka Vagga, which is the first Vagga in the Dhammapada, it is well known. Manu Bangama Dhamma Manu Setta Manu Maya Manasa Che Paduttena Bhasati Va Karoti Va Tato nam dukkha mang veti chakkang va vahatu padang. That is the first answer of 
Yamakavagya. And the second stanza also I will uh, I will recite because uh, uh, both have the similar meanings. Manu Pubanga Madama Manu Sita Manu Maya Manasa Chipasanina Basati Va Karoti Va Tatunang Sukamang Veti Chayava Anapaini. What the Buddha says here. Mano Kupangama Dham. Mind is the Purana. Whatever we do, whatever we say, our mind has to decide. Now you all came to this hall today. How? Your mind, your mind decided and asked you to, oh, go to the Go to the Maitreya Hall today. If not, if your mind, uh, if your mind uh, didn't suggest you, you would have not come here. So, your mind does everything. Mind this very well because the mind is the one which does everything. Everything. So if you do something with padutena chitta, padutta chitta, that is pap or evil. If you do something with evil mind, you definitely get the bad result or evil result out of it. So it comes after you as a cart, loaded cart coming after the bull. But if you do something, manasache pasannen, pasannen, pasanna means the happy. If you do something with happy, with your happy feelings, good mind, good, uh, good chitta, uh, happy mind, then you always get the good results. So both ways it happens. If you do something bad, evil, you get evil results. And if you do something good, you get good results. Uh, and uh, Yamakavagga, you get uh, 20 substances. And many of these uh, verses are related with the lay life. So, uh, you can get a lot of uh, examples and advices uh, from this uh, Yamaka Vagga. Uh, not only lay life, even, uh, even the bhikkhus, monastics. Uh, because in one, uh, in one stanza, uh, there is a stanza called Anikasavo Kasava. That means even though you were a chiver, you can't become a bhikkhu. So things like that. Small points, but very powerful. And uh, many people now talk about this nahi vere na verani. You will never end uh, hating. Hatred. Hatred should be conquered by only practicing metta, maitri. So with the loving kindness only, you can win hatred. If not, hatred will kill you. So the what the Buddha always said was it is we are between either either love or hatred love or hatred raga and dosa 
in Pali. So we are always in between those two. So you have to make up your mind, build up your mind, inculcate your mind to, uh, to be, to get rid of this raga and dosa. And when we take Appa Madhavag, Appa Madhu Amata Padang, Pamadu Machino Padang, Appa Mata Namiyanti Yepamata Yapamata. The Buddha always talked about this Appa Madhu not being slow or lazy because. You have to be always heedful. Then again, he said, Uthana Vato, Sati Mato, Suchika Masa Nisamakari, Sanyata Sacha Dhamma Jeevudu, Appamata Saya Sobi Vadati. Uthana Vato. Uthana is your, your effort to get something. Uh, Successful, to do something successful, you have to put some effort in that. And this effort should be continuous. That is the point. So, Uttana Vato, you have to go on without, without breaking it. And with this Uttana and Sati Mato, Sati, your mind, you have to be mindful. You have to be mindful always. So, Uttana Mato, Sati Mato, Suchi Kammasani Samakari. You have to uh, do the job at the right time, right place, right time. If not, you can't be a successful man. So, this is good for lay people as well as the bhikkhu. You have to be uh, be mindful and uh, heedful unless you will be a failure. Then again he talked about Uttane Nappamadena. Uttane Nappamadena Sangyamena Damena Cha Deepankairata Nedhavi Yang Ogu Nabi Kirati who is Medhavi? Medhavi is the wise person. If you are wise, you have to know what to do. What to do, how to do, when to do. So all these were talked by the Buddha. So if you have the strength, the effort, endless effort, continuous effort, and sati with your mind, mindfulness, and suchi kamasani samakari. You have to know what to do at the right time. And sanyata sacha dhamma jivinu. And you have to have a, a, a right life. You have to live a right life. That is sama ajiva. And when you live a right uh, life, it is you have to be virtue, virtue person, sealer. You have to protect your sealer. Sanyata Sachadama Jivinu, Apamata Sayasubi Vadati, and your name and fame will be grown. Nobody can stop that. So, Appamata Sayaso be Vadati. Vadati means uh, you grow it, you inculcate it. So, this is uh, actually uh, one of two of my favorite uh, stanzas. And again, Appamade in Magava, he has talked talk about the Sakka. The Sakka means uh, Sakra, the god of the god. So what he has done as uh, he was in the 
Human word as Magha. His name was then Magha and he was doing a lot of uh, social work, a lot of things, building up uh, roads and uh, uh, building up houses and helping people, a lot of things. And after all those things, he became the king of the uh, gods. And then when you come to the Chittavagga, uh, the first one, I like this very much. Pandanam chapalam chittam durakkam dunivarayam ujum karoti medavi usukaro tejanam Pandanam chapalam chittam Pandan is to spandana in singular and it's shaking all the time. Our mind is very, very, uh, very difficult to, we can't catch it, we can't hold it, we can't control it. Pandana, chapala. Always changes. You say something now, about six o'clock, you will, you will change that. So, this is the nature of the mind. So this is the nature of the mind you have to understand. So when you when you work with people, you have to understand this also. So this chitta, our mind always gets changed. So you have to know this. And then again about the about again the mind, durangamang. Ekacharang asari rang guhasyang. Ye chittang sanyame santi mokkanti marabandhan. Durangama. The, we live here, we sit here. <coughs> but our mind, our minds, Take some subject far away, maybe from Australia, maybe from Germany, maybe from Japan, a far away place, maybe. So, ekacharan, the mind doesn't need any friends, any groups, no, it works all alone. So, this mind, you have to Catch some or other. You have to control it. Ye chittan sanyam is santi mokkanti mara bandana. If you want to fight with the mara, what do you have to do? You have to catch the mind. You have to control the mind. This is a very, very important and nice thing to remember. Diso disang yantang kaira veri va panaveri. Diso disang yantang kaira. Our mind, our mind is very dangerous. Sometimes it is dangerous than the worst of the, the worst robber. Worst of the, worst than the the murderer of the murderers. The mind is so dangerous, so powerful. So we have to be very careful with this mind. So that is why the Buddha, for the whole Dhamma, what I see is it is protecting or controlling your mind because when you win your mind only, you can attain Nibbana or Nirvana, whatever we say, the ultimate attainment. And again, he said, Natam Mata Pita Kaira. What does that was say? The, you, if you have a good mind, it does some service to you. 
more than your mata, your mother, or pita, your father. More than your father and mother, your good mind, your controlled mind serves you. So what you have to do is to protect your mind. So these, these come under Chitta Vagga and then Puppa Vagga. There are a lot of interesting stories uh, in Puppa Vagga because uh, once Kassapatero, uh, Kassapatero, after his uh, vipassana meditation for seven days, he gets up, and it is a it is a huge merit that you can gain if you can give dana to such a person after seven days because they they starve for seven days, uh, having still uh, still mindfulness. And one day, Kasapatero, after his vipassana, he gets up. And Sakka also comes to know that same day, the Kasapatero uh, gets up from vipassana. And he thought of giving him a dan. And he came up to Kasapatero and asked for his ball. You know, normally, when you go on Pindapata, uh, what you do is ask for the uh, Pindapata board. And then Kassapatero said, no Sakta. You are, a, you are a rich person. You, you have a lot of merits and I'm going to give this opportunity to a very poor person. Then he will get a, uh, he will get collect good uh, merits so that I'm not going to give you the ball today. So the Sakta was disappointed but he didn't give up. What he did was, he was hiding and he looked where the, where Kasapatero was going. And he was following him and he came to know that he went to a lane where the poor people live. That is a tailor's lane. And uh, then uh, what he did was, he disguised himself and asked Sudama also his wife, and both of them, uh, he built up, uh, because with his normal, super normal power, he built up a, a hut, and they were there. And now the Kasaptero uh, is coming on the way, and this, uh, this poor fellow, the old man, he went up to the uh, Thero and said, Oh, if you can be satisfied with what we give, what we offer you, Thero, we would like to offer you some dana today. And Kasapa Thero didn't, uh, he didn't suspect and he didn't think very much. Oh, maybe this poor person, he will get this uh, merit, okay. And he gave the ball. And he went inside and came out with the dana and Kasapatero smells it and it is so smelling, so sweet smelling because it is the, the, what the sakka gives, not it is, not normal, normal dana. So then Kasapatero was, he was surprised and he said, oh, how could it be? This is a poor man. He can't. Uh, he can't give such a such a nourishing, such a um, such a good food to me. Then he he looked. He investigated. Then he found this. The sucker again has come after following him. Then he. Uh, then he said, "Sucker, you cheated me." Then the Sakka uh, said, sorry, sorry to deceive you, but I too need some merit. So that is why I came. So have I done something wrong? And am I not going to get that merit? Then the, the Kasapatero said, no, no, it's okay. You will get the merit, no problem. 
but you cheated me. That is the that is the point. Then after that, uh, Saka was so happy and he went back. And this was uh, this went to the Dharma Hall and everybody was discussing about this. And uh, the, what the Buddha said was, you know, Napupagando Pativata Methi, the the pupa, pushpa, or the flowers, the scent of flowers uh, flows with the wind. If the wind goes this way, the scent goes that way. And if the wind goes this way, the scent also goes this way. But it doesn't go up in the sky. But the sweet scent of the sealer, the virtue, the virtue person goes up in the sky. That is how the Saka came to know that Kasapatera was going to going to walk on Pindapata after Vipassana. So then that point, the Buddha was so proud of uh, Kasapatero. Uh, at such points, the Buddha normally talks about um, my son. Because when something nice happens, he says, my son, Kasapa, my son Sariputta, my son Moggallan, for Bikunis, my son Kema, my, sorry, my daughter Kema, my daughter Palavanna, once for Kisagotami also, my daughter Kisagotami. So he was such a proud father, great teacher, a master of the order. So this Puspavagga, Puspavagga is very interesting that way. And uh, when you come to the Balavagga, um, there's a nice story about a king, Pasena the Kosala. He, he sees a woman and he was uh, having uh, a round uh, in the country. He sees a woman and then he finds that uh, she has a husband. Then how to get that woman? He was having a plot having a plan to get get that man killed and then get the woman. So, Diga Jaga Rato Rati, Diga Santo Santa Sayojana, like that. What he did was, he uh, get that got that person to come and ask him some very difficult task to do. And he was asked to bring uh, some flowers from this, uh, what do you call this, uh, Anotata, Lake Anotata, and come back before six o'clock. And again, he ordered the, the watcher to uh, close the gate before six o'clock. <laughs> See how the kings had uh, uh, worked when they wanted to get done something. But that night he couldn't uh, sleep. He couldn't sleep because it was a Diga Jagarato Rati. That Ratri was very, very long. Diga, very long. He could not sleep. But that man came with the flowers because he was uh, helped by uh, some. It's a long story. But he couldn't sleep. So he went up to the Buddha. Did the Buddha uttered? This uh, stands out of him, and then he forgot the uh, the woman, and uh, the man was released. Again, in Balavagga, Bala means uh, the the foolish foolish person. Here, foolish means not the uneducated uh, people or something. This is uh, the person who does not know the Dhamma, Dhamma, the nature of this uh, world. So uh, the Buddha says, Charan che nadi gacheya. 
செய்யம் சதிசம் அர்த்தனம் இஃப் யூ டோன்ட் ஹாவ் த ஈக்குவல் ஈக்குவல் ஃப்ரெண்ட் ஈக்குவல் பர்சன் ஜஸ்ட் பி ஆல் அலோ லைக் த எலிஃபண்ட் ஹூ லிவ்ஸ் இன் த ஜங்கல் ஆல் அலோ அண்ட் புத்த ஹிம் செல்ஃப் ஹேப்பன் டு டூ தட் ஒன்ஸ் இன் பொசபே பொசாம்பி the bhikkhus were fighting they had a fight and the buddha buddha left to the left and he was in a jungle one was a one uh, retreat he was in a jungle far away and you have another story in ayava jeevam piche balu and muhutampi chevinu ayava jeevam piche balu that is uh, that was uttered uh, about channa channa was very aggressive channa never listen to the uh the foremost disciples either sariputta or moggalla so he was very uh, disobedient so he yava jeevam che balo the buddha said the, even though the the ledu in the soup or the curry it always there but it never knows the taste of the soup or the curry so channa was there every time in the temple but he didn't get anything any advice any dhamma he doesn't any lesson from those of the foremost uh disputes again in balavaga it comes uh, this is the floris suman about uh, floris suman tanch kammang khatan sadu yang katwa nanu tapati ஒன்னு <laughs> one day he was carrying these uh, baskets of flowers he saw the buddha uh, walking in the path this is after with the path buddha coming back to the savatthi the jetavan and uh, once he saw him he was so having a so soft corner for the buddha and oh such a nice person very nice and uh, very pleasing and he he like uh, so so venerated so then he was thinking oh what could i give him what should i give him nothing i am a poor man i have nothing but then again another thought come into him and tells him why you have flowers you offer the flowers to him then the first thought again say no 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 it is the kings how can i give kings flowers to the uh, someone i don't know him even then he was having this fight and then ultimately he took the decision there your mind takes the decision so that mind was very powerful and he thought all right i will give this uh, flowers not all but one one basket i will offer him 
but by the time he had passed now this is uh, this is where he is and the buddha had passed so how can how can he give it to him then he thought all right um i'm so fond of this person uh, so let him let him be offered these flowers this is my good thought and he if he pushes the flowers to the sky and these flowers went up to the buddha and it was they are like a rainbow he was so happy and then he felt oh he want to he wanted to test now then he put the second basket and it also went and it like there and the buddha was going buddha was walking on the street and this balls on the air and like that all the eight baskets he threw he threw and it was like a rainbow and all the people were shouting and clapping and they were enjoying this and then he was looking and very happy but but what happened at, at, at last now no flowers to the for the king how can i go back to the palace without flowers he went he went home back and he went to bed then the woman is why ask what happened why did you come early where's the money because he is getting money after giving the flowers to the palace no money so what happened what happened tell me uh you know something happened like this a person very nice face person he was of golden color i was so fond of him i wanted to offer this all flowers and i just wanted to give him only one basket but ultimately all the eight baskets i gave him i offered him oh mine you have done something wrong now the king will king will kill us kill us both of us so come come let's go and tell him and let's excuse ourselves no 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 i'm not going to excuse myself because i have done what i felt right i have done the right thing so i'm not going to uh, ask excuse so that's what he said so tanch kamman khatan sadhu yam tatva nan tapati tapati he was not uh, thinking about it he was not lamenting so what he said was no no i am not going to i am not going to the palace i am not going to tell the king then all right i am going to the king and i will tell him i will excuse otherwise both of us will be killed by the king then the wife goes to the palace and he tells uh, she tells this to the king and then uh, the king can't believe this and king went to the uh, went to the temple and asked the buddha and later the buddha the king found that the sumana has done something that that he could not do the king comes to the uh, temple every morning and every day and in the evening but sumana had done something which i cannot do then what did he do instead of uh, giving punishment he gave he gave a post to him he gave a post and a palace and servants and everything so that is after doing something good you should not regret about it you should be happy about it so talking about dhamma pada is very very difficult task because it is 423 verses and the 26 vartas so these days i have been writing about dhamma pada and uh, maybe uh, there will be some day that i will finish that task and give you all now what about time manori
really i didn't feel that so there are a lot to say there is a lot to say and then uh, i will finish it with the the last uh, stanzas that i have uh, selected uh, from magga vag mag magga is the maga marga and the path the way to the nibbana so our ultimate ultimate goal is there and in the magga vag the buddha uh, talk about this magga aryo atangiko maggo the eightfold path and eto uh, magana visuddhiya in the buddha vagga sorry magga vagga so you all know this uh, eight fold path maggam attangiko setto satchanam chaturopada virago setto dhammana deepa deepadana deepadana cha chakkunu so this is the magga and uh, you have to go through this magga and uh, this is a nice word tumme hi kichang atappam attakaro tatagata patipan pamukkanti jaino mara bandana so this is what the buddha uh, said that is his dhamma and that is his advice what tumhe kichang atap you yourself have to do this you yourself have to go through this uh, path and atakaro uh, tatagata so eight eight fold path is there eight and uh, patipan you have to uh, in singular we say pravishta venava you have to uh, do this and practice this because the tathagata is the tathagata cannot take you there the buddhas never can take us there he can show us the path he can show us the path we have to go we have to go through the path and then he talked about sabbe sankhara anicchati yada panyaya pasati ata nirbintanti dukkhe esa esa maggo visuddhiya so sabbe sankhara anicchati sabbe sankhara dukkhati and after that sabbe dhamma anattati so you have to come to that point at last so you have to learn the magga and the magga is eightfold path and the uh, the chaturopada the chatu is four so chaturopada is this uh, the truth the noble four noble truth the four noble truth you have to Uh, realize while going through this eightfold path then you will come to the ultimate uh, attainment and enlightenment so it is very hard job that i was just trying hard it's like i was uh, just uh, touching the surface and i myself is not satisfied manori so whatever possible i tried i mean according to the time so it was such a you know, such a vast subject so thank you for listening to me and thank you for coming here and uh, attend to this uh, meeting today and servants of the buddha they are doing a lot of things a day by day so wish you all the best and thank you